So today we're going to talk about the common mistakes that new and even experienced filmmakers like myself make on set. But stick around till the end of the video because I've got some exciting news and exciting announcements to share with you. If your sound is off, even by the hair, it doesn't matter how great your story or your visuals are, your film will suffer and it will suffer greatly. I live for the simple things. Like how much this is gonna hurt. You've probably seen it or maybe you've done it yourself, like strong camera work, cool lighting, but guess what? The sound, yeah, mediocre, not so great. And why is that? It seems like on lower budgeted productions, we'll have a solid camera team and a lighting crew, but the audio department, it lacks. And it's usually just one person trying to juggle everything. Wow, great reflexes. When you go and see like bigger productions, you've got a sound mixer, a boom operator, and even a sound utility grip. And sometimes they even have more than one boom operator on set. If the sound is bad, as you guys may guess, the audience will notice. And trust me, no one's going to care about how great your shots look if they can't hear the dialogue properly. So here's a pro tip. If you don't have the budget for a full sound team, get someone on your set who's at least willing to learn and help out. Maybe, you know, they can assist with booming or even lobbing the cast up with mics. The more hands you have on the sound department, the better your production will be. Just remember that bad audio will pull your audience right out of the story. So be really mindful of your sound and be mindful of your sound crew. Give them some help on set. Did you guys ever watch a movie and feel like it's dragging on and it's dragging on forever and ever and ever? Or maybe it's just so fast you barely have time to keep up with anything that's going on in the story. You know, finding that balance in pacing is key. I've seen so many projects where the pacing is off and it's either too rushed or too slow. You want to keep the audience engaged without overwhelming or even boring the audience at all. And here's my advice. Use a mix of fast cuts to keep things exciting and slower moments to let the story breathe. And if a scene isn't necessary, Cut it out. music and sound are also great tools for pacing. Upbeat scores can speed things up while softer, more subtle music can help slow things down when needed. Did you ever watch a scene and felt confused about where the characters are in relation to each other? That's probably because the 180 degree rule was broken. In short, it's about keeping the camera on one side of an imaginary line, per se, between two characters to maintain their left-right relationship on screen. And if you break that rule without planning for it, it can be super disorienting for the audience. Now, don't get me wrong. You can break the rule. Like, all rules are meant to be broken, but it needs to be intentional, and it needs to make sense for that scene. As you know, the royal family of Britain are the wealthiest landowners in the world. One big mistake I see is when I watch these characters start a scene with lines like, as you know, as you know, something is about to happen, blah, blah, blah. Or just outright explaining stuff, right? <laughs> I know, I'm not an actor. Yeah, trust me, writing good dialogue is very, very hard. I've struggled with it too. Here's the thing. Instead of telling the audience what's happening, show them. Use action and emotion. Not every scene needs dialogue. Actually, sometimes silence can be more powerful than a spoken word. As a director, it's your job to guide your actors to show emotions, even without words. Like emotions paired with strong sound design and music can communicate so much more than dialogue ever could. It's like, it's like magic. A lot of you guys have been asking when our next giveaway is and 
Our next giveaway, we're going to start it December 1st, and we'll be announcing the winner on December 27th. As for what we're giving away, well, that's up to you guys, okay? Check out the community tab and vote in the poll to share your thoughts. We were thinking about doing another DaVinci Resolve key, uh, studio key giveaway, but it's up to you guys. I want you guys to get what you guys actually need. Thanks for sticking around. I'd love to hear about any mistakes you made when you were starting out. Drop them in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on up our upcoming videos. And as always, practice and create.